Hi guys, welcome to Strictly Mom's Cooking. And today for snacks, I'm having panda sal, also known as more like paramanda sal. It's just just kidding. But um what panda sal is, it's a Filipino bread, meaning it's a bread that people bake in the Philippines. And people in the Philippines like to eat this for breakfast, sometimes for snacks also. That's what panda sal is. I'm so excited to eat this panda sal thing because um, it's soft and um, it smells really good. <laughs> and, um, I, and I can't wait to eat it. And I like buns and I like panda sal. And another type of bun, another bun bread that I've had is called the soft honey buns. And you can go watch the video of where I tried the soft honey buns. They're also really good. It's really, it looks really yummy. I can't wait. And I wish you can smell it because it smells so good. I'm gonna grab one of these. Oops. And before I eat, I'm just gonna rip it apart to show you. Oops. The inside. By the way, panda cell is messy, so I don't recommend it eating. Recommend eating it in the living room, by the way, or in your mom's bedroom. <laughs> Oops, it's a little bit hot in the inside. And I also want to show you that I have some eggnog also for myself. Sprinkle some cinnamon on it. And I'm gonna start mixing it. I'm not sure. Oops. So I'm gonna have the panda cell now. It tastes like happiness and a hot fart. <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. Actually, it tastes really good and it's kind of, it tastes kind of like the soft honey buns, if you will. So, um, I just want to say that my mom told me um, that when Filipinos eat panda sal, they like to dip it in a coffee. I'm gonna do something like that except I'm gonna dip it in the eggnog not in a coffee. I'll have to wait until I'm 18 to get a coffee by the way. So I'm gonna take the other half. I'm gonna get one fourth of it. I'm gonna squish it a little bit so that the crumbs don't um, get into the drink. And I'm gonna dip it. Um, It's okay with the eggnog, but I still would like to eat the panda cell plain without dipping it in. in. So, um... I'm gonna compare it with the honey buns, the panda cell with the honey buns. And what about the honey buns? Well, I like the honey buns, they're good. I also like panda cell, but um, I think honey buns are um, better, t are easier to eat since, because it's not messy. And I think panda cell is messy to eat because of all the crumbs, but other than that, it's still a pretty good bread. 
gonna eat a little bit more before the raid. is really good okay so now I'm gonna rate it now and guess what it's a zero out of ten mm -mm, I don't like it no 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 just kidding just kidding I've actually reached the gold star once again because I it's a ten out of ten why am I always so dramatic when I get a ten out of ten <laughs> okay so as I said earlier it, um, I really like the bread kind of sell so that's why it's a ten out of ten so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching Strictly Mom's Cooking. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.